Hey, my name is Ben and this is the Honeydew Homestead. Before we get started, I just wanted to give you a little bit of context into what you're about to see. Some of these videos, especially the very early videos, are going to be a little rough. If you do have questions about some of those videos or, or this video in particular, leave a comment down below and I'll do my very best to answer those. With that said, let's get to it. I'd like to start this video out by pointing out a few things. This one might be a little different from other videos that I've produced up until this point. The reason for that is the timing was getting very close to moving day. We had boxes packed. The only thing left were my tools. And I really had to get this job done. I sold my original office furniture because it just wouldn't fit the new house. Being an avid woodworker, I decided, let me make something that I would really enjoy, something that would feel personal, and would fill and warm up the space the way that I wanted it to. I wanted to create a piece of furniture that would reflect the new home. Something that was a little bit modern, but still had a rustic flair to it that I think would blend in very well with a lot of the other things that I like making. The first thing I did was try to create a template. This was the first time that I actually tried to do this. Usually I would make my cuts and assemble things, but this one took a little bit of extra attention. The reason for that is mostly because of the shape. Admittedly, when you first look at the shape, it's actually quite intimidating. Nothing is quite square. You can't just make 90 degree cuts and butt joint things together. Everything was a little more complicated than your classic craftsman style design that I typically enjoy making. I was going with something that had a little more of that modern flair to it. It had elements of that mid-mod design with the slightly flared legs and the, the beveled top, but I didn't want to go full mid-century modern. That really didn't fit the house, it didn't fit me or my family. So to accomplish this, what I really did was start out by creating that template. Making a template was something very new to me. I got the idea actually from watching another YouTuber. But stop. Let's back up for a second. Before I got to the template, truthfully, what I did was design this entire thing in SketchUp. SketchUp was a huge help in this entire project. It helped give me the confidence to put this thing together without destroying a lot of raw materials to get there. Not only was I able to get the lengths and the cuts that I needed, but I was able to find angles and certain measurements that would have been extremely difficult to do otherwise. I certainly could have freehanded this entire thing on a large piece of cardboard or poster paper, but I don't think I would have gotten the same results that I had gotten by using SketchUp. Once I did settle on my final design, I got to work. I drew most of the lines with a simple straight edge, and some of the circular shapes, I used whatever I had, whether it was a roll of duct tape or a can or a soda bottle or whatever I, I could use to help me fit the curve to whatever felt just right for me. Once the lines were all penciled in, it was a matter of cutting it out. I used a combination of the table saw to cut straight segments, switching over to the jigsaw which helped me cut those round over shapes. Once I finished the rough shape I went ahead and sanded each and every one of those pieces of the template. Now the important thing to remember here is most of the template can really be any shape you want. What's really important are where the templates come together. You can have the craziest funkiest shape that you could imagine everywhere else. 
but where the templates come together those pieces need to match as perfect as possible because keep in mind that when you're done with these templates they will be a reflection of the final piece itself we're going to use these templates like a stencil the same way that you would use a, a penciling stencil to draw letters or shapes that same method is what I use in my approach here while I was going through the process of designing these legs and templating their shapes out and getting ready to start cutting some lumber I also had to create a tabletop the tabletop didn't need any templates I really just needed a large flat surface that I would ultimately end up putting on top of these legs I could have used some plywood and it might have actually been a lot easier but I just I loved the idea of having a solid wood top on my office desk I was already going through all the effort of creating these templates and cutting these shapes and doing something that was really just outside of my comfort zone why would I go through all of that just to put some plywood on top of it I kept the tabletop simple 24 deep 48 wide that would be the size of my new desk it seems a little bit small but it was exactly what I needed I needed space for my mouse and mouse pad my keyboard and a few other small things I planned to mount my monitors on one of those suspended mounts and so I knew I wouldn't be taking up any desk space with the monitors themselves and before I continue let me just say it was the best decision I made ultimately where the desk ended up it was a perfect fit once I had everything all cut up I traced out the general shape using those templates onto these boards you'll notice I used basically 2x4 lumber for the legs and 1x lumber for the tabletop I cut them to length I drew the stencils onto them and that gave me a good idea of where those legs were going to be and how they were going to lay out next to each other once all the pieces came together I pride myself on being a generally patient person but I couldn't help myself I wanted to see what this was going to look like as a finished product and so I got as many clamps as I could <laughs> and I just clamped all of this together and I gotta say I liked what I saw after all of the rough pieces were cut I used double-sided tape to press the templates down onto these pieces of timber that would effectively become the legs or at least the parts of the legs using the template as a guide I used a router to slowly chip away at the ends until the router bit was rolling flush with the template I wish I had more pictures but honestly this was it I was so short on time man I just had to show this to you guys I'm so proud of this desk I really enjoyed making it uh, who knows and if if maybe I get like a thousand subscribers or something maybe I'll come back to this and make another one or make modifications to it or who knows we'll see what happens when we get to that point anyways thank you so much for sitting through this one thank you for subscribing if you're not subscribed please do that's the best way to keep this channel going and drop me a like let me know what you think about the table let me know if you have a similar table or similar design that you've created for yourself I'd love to see some of the woodworkers out there expect to see more woodworking projects on this channel if you like that kind of stuff there will be more I can promise you that alright thanks again and I'll see you on the next one